Don't go anywhere. Where are you going? Hang on. That's... I've got a... Yes! No. Oh. My name's Adam Katz. I'm one of the lead character effects artists at Animal Logic. So on Peter Rabbit, we were looking to get photorealistic characters where they were going to be interacting with live action actors and actresses in different weather conditions. There was going to be frantic action scenes and emotional performances. And all around, we wanted something that was looking very, very high end that we could automate. What we were doing was automating character effects end to end within Houdini. So we would be importing data, processing geometry, running cloth and fur simulations, and then exporting data at the end. So just to take a deeper look, for instance, with our cloth input, we would take our cloth input that was very nicely modeled from the assets department. We would remesh it so that it would work better uh, for cloth simulation. We would simulate it. We then bind it to renderable cloth, and then we export that, and that would become the rendered cloth you see in the final animation. We would also take fur input and make sure that we attach it to the body, make sure that it collides underneath the cloth, and do final interpolations back to the full groom that we got from assets as well. So the groom was done outside of Houdini, and as an input, we essentially got five to 10 million curves per production asset. We would take that, we would bring those down to a reasonable level for actual simulation, and then at the end, we would interpolate back to the full groom cache and export that. So the part that I was probably most proud of in our setup was that not only was it all automated, but that when we inevitably did need an artist to make a change on it, they could go into our setup, quickly make a change for the relevant section, and then the rest of it would automate out. And they didn't have to worry about all the little details of exactly how different parts of our setup fit together. They could just come in, do the work that they wanted to do, and the rest would take care of itself. Houdini really helped us meet the goal we had of being able to input data, automate everything through there, and export. We used a combination of the Houdini digital assets and assets that were built in, as well as our own, to be able to get data, no matter what it looked like coming in, automatically process it and export it at the end. <laughs> Emerald or seafoam green? Uh, seafoam green with a hint of battleship grey. I thought so. 